Hey, it's Belly Breakthrough Time. Hey, it's Shelly from EatRelateLove.com, and today's belly breakthrough question comes from a reader who wants to remain anonymous, and it reads, I have a medical condition that hinders me from processing sugars and fats correctly, so it's extremely hard for me to lose weight without medication or surgery. Because of what food does to my body and my shape, I have a relationship with it that's filled with hate, fear, and guilt. And I experience a lot of shame and anger around the situation. How can I begin to feel good about my body when I have a medical condition that makes it so hard being in this body? So first, let me acknowledge your courage for being brave enough to say that there is a medical condition that you feel prevents you from really embodying and owning yourself. Now, I'm going to invite you to do a little bit of a mindset shift. My expertise in helping women reconnect with their body, their food, and their lives really is about emotional wellness. And as I read your question, I really noticed that there was a disconnect between you and your body. In other words, it's almost as if your body is here, it is plagued with this condition, and then you're here stuck with these emotions that, to be quite frank, don't feel good. So I'm going to dig deeper into the emotional wellness part of your question, but I want to share experience with you. The other day I had an opportunity to watch Frida Kahlo. Frida Kahlo is one of my favorite artists. I think she's completely brilliant the way she's able to take her pain and put it on canvas in a way that everyone can relate. And in the movie, Salma Hayek portrays Frida Kahlo, and it pretty much tells her life story. When Frida was younger, she suffered a terrible accident that left her broken, literally, in many places in her body including her spine, her legs, and other places. Eventually, she was able to walk, but she ended up spending the majority of the rest of her life in pain and also in and out of surgery and in and out of different casts. However, through all of that, Frida found the ability to recognize that she is not her body. She is experiencing her body, and she can choose how to express that, how to feel about that, and what to believe about her power as a woman, as an artist, as a human being. And as I was reading your question, I couldn't help but think about Frida Kahlo's story because there are times when our body suffers from a condition that truthfully, we don't really have that much control over. But what we do have control over is how we experience it and how we choose to express it. And the key to this is really understanding that who you are is about what you feel and emote, what you believe and think, and how you fashion those experiences into reality. As I'm understanding your question, it sounds like you really limited yourself to your condition. I want to invite you to emotional wellness mindset shift. You have been embodying yourself from a place of shame, a place of guilt, fear, and all these other negative emotions. I want to invite you to consider that your body is capable of so much more than you've been limiting yourself to. And I want you to look at what is your body good for? Ask yourself, what does my body do that I love? What good things do I get to experience as a result of my body? When was the last time that I actually felt delicious in my body? And asking these questions really begins to bring about a place of gratitude, a place of love, and a place of respect. And so I'm asking you to make a shift into that place because you'll find that the more you begin to embody feelings of love and respect and gratitude and satisfaction, the less you'll have room to feel those feelings of shame, guilt, hate, and fear. And if anything, Frida Kahlo's story is absolutely inspiring when it comes to embodying a body that is hard to embody. Ask yourself the questions that I pose in this video, and I look forward to the day that you can wake up, look at yourself in the mirror, and love what you see, all of it. Thank you so much for your question. I hope that was extremely helpful. And if you like the video, please like it. For anyone else that you know who could use this belly breakthrough, by all means, share it on social media. I look forward to hearing from you all next week, and I will see you soon. Take care.